Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer World. In the last part, we finally got the nav key from Gladys after paying 10,000 bits for it. Now I have only 72. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna talk to Mol or Phyllis. Welcome back, Captain. Phineas, I think. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yeah, sure. You know, go for it. Doesn't this guy have a life? <laughs> Let's put him on. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Sounds like you've been there. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? You blend in with the crowds. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Uh, do I have questions? Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Okay. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. They never know I'm doing this for them. Um, there it is, Monarch. Let's go see his lab. I haven't been there yet. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? I'll do the honors. I flew it myself. No robots help. Doesn't matter. I don't think there's any fighting here. Oh. Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Phineas? Oh, damn it. Ow. Blast, that's loud. Oh, you're off wrong with me. Are you here, dude? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. What? Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh, at least you have welcome, Matt. What the? Bubbles. Is that yours? Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, sisty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, let's talk to Phineas for a bit. We haven't seen him this in, basically this entire playthrough. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Alright, uh, something else? Of course. What's on your mind? Uh... Are you hiding something? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Uh, some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Everything you need. Phineas, uh, if you end up betraying me by the end of this, I'm going to be very disappointed. Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. I know, you're looking directly me in the nice eyes. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? 
Felix, introduce yourself. Why don't yourself? I invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. I don't think they'll... Like, you know, betray you. If you don't betray me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew such as they are. I picked you out of the hope for your talents, after all. It's only natural that others would gravitate toward you. Uh, doing pretty well. Yes, indeed. Well done. No, you know, I'm poor. Oh, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. Is that going to happen to me at some point? Am I going to liquefy? What's on your mind? Uh, no, that's it. I think. Bubbles! Are you a pig sheep? Get a look at this freak. Okay, go and quiet. No, shh. Can you attack him? I don't want to find out. Oh no, what happened to this one? Oof. Another pig. Another. How many pigs you have in here, man? Pocket watch? I can't use that. Just, I'll just sell it. Don't worry, I'll give you 0% of the profits. Ooh. Terminal. <clears throat> ah, welcome, Phineas Wells. Hmm. He's working for someone. He doesn't trust me all the way. At least that when he met me. He's trying to send this message to somebody very bad. Careful, that's my communications terminal. Yeah, I saw it. Ooh! Science weapons. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapons damage and strength, and the strength of their effects both increase. Your science skill is increased. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, Bubbles. Oh. So it only works for a little bit? Or I don't know, maybe he's special. I'm stuck. What's this? Hibernation chamber. Oh, is this the one I was in? Right. Uh, what is this? This is probably something important. Um, yeah, this was all for me. He mentions Baxel. I believe I do envy you, Baxel. Okay. Uh, another terminal. I'm guessing these weren't me because. Yeah, these are definitely not me. These people are liquefied. Buy more with mouthwash. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, well, Hawthorne didn't last too long, did he? Okay. So... Can I talk to you about what I read over there? I hope you're not thinking of ingratiating yourself with the board. Chairman Rockwell and his cronies are not your friends. It's probably something I could do eventually. They might tempt you with promises of wealth, but don't be fooled. They're just using you for their own ends. What's on your mind? Uh, oh, no, I can't mention it. I don't care about it. if you leave your lab. You probably don't, unless you gotta go rescue me, right? 
Okay, I think I've seen enough here. I'm growing suspicious of you, Wells. A little bit suspicious. Oh, it doesn't work on you? Damn it, Felix. I got my suspicions. I'll probably be like, uh, he seems suspicious, but he's doing it for the right reasons kind of thing. I'm trying to piece this together before it ends. I've acquired poster. Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. And I've acquired pocket watch. Can I, like, place those somewhere? Or something? I'll probably figure it out later. Okay, let's go to Monarch. One of Olympias' many satellites. What should have been Halkin's second inhabitable world has long since been abandoned by the board due to monstrous, ravenous creatures. Yay. Ooh. Oh, wait. So, could I have gone there without even getting a nav key? Son of a bitch. Because I know I got a nav key for that. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. Thank you, Ada. Wrong button. Okay, I assume both of you want to come with. Oh, what do you know? Okay, we've made it. The hell is that town? Are we just in the town already? Ooh, nice. I wonder where we would have landed. Probably over there. Insert captain's identification card to initiate remote landing. Uh, I've already landed. Is this an elevator? How do I get down? Oh. Probably could have jumped, but I don't want to break my legs really bad. Only a little bit. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Okay. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Uh. Yeah. I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. Ah. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay. Home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Should I just go by Hawthorne? I'll go by Baxel. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. Thank you. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Am I one? Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, uh, one out of five stars. That way, maybe you could do me a favor. Oh, come on. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? If I could take it and sell it, I'll do that. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. Mm -hmm. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Unless I got stuck here, I don't think I'm going to do that for you. Okay, let's talk to this guide lady. Hello. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. She's my guide. I'll keep listening. It's interesting. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I. Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Man, everybody knows everybody here. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. 
Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Uh. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, brass nuts. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats. Let's let's talk business. Yeah, let's do that. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. If you want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Uh, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. <sighs> okay. I know they make me see straight for a little while. You gonna get me a dose of what? I guess so. I don't have any, do I? You, I would have th thought like all the stuff I have. There would be one hidden somewhere in my backpack. Wow, I don't. All that stuff. That one caffeine oil, or whatever it's called. Passion pills. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. That's what I'm looking for. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Got another Gladys, Grandma. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Why is everybody an auntie? Bless your little heart. You must mean caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. <sighs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Uh, I don't think I should say her. Why? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Well, you shouldn't have mentioned that. Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? I can't say nope. Doika? Uh, I'll try this one. Aren't you a saucy thing? Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Oh boy, what am I doing here? Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. Oh, that's a shame. And I'd hate to send you away empty handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? God damn it, stop asking me that. Fine, it's for her. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Oh, really? You were asking me 20 times, who's this for? Who's this for? Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. What does that mean? Because I have a companion? <laughs> Enough sweet talk. Give me the calf and I are going to need a taste of your own medicine. I'll persuade. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room. For all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. 
Forget fellow. Eh? Uh, what supply room? The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. Okay. Chin up, dearie. I guess I know where I'm going. You gave away everything. Capable of running the warehouse. <laughs> uh, is it that one? Supply room. Ooh. Oh. Did I do it? <laughs> Back. Oh, I'm not welcome. So many notes. Who wants to read? No, that's not a lot. Oh my god. I just saw the word words and then a lot of numbers. Look at all those words. Is this even lore or is this a story? This is a story. Chapter 34, Healing Touch. Oh, laws. He moaned, pulling her close. She pressed a finger to his lips. Shh. The only law here is love. <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? Aw. Okay. Did I increase it? Or like is that that quick? Hey. Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? Now that can't be. Ms. Ramnarine Wentworth has already exceeded the months. Oh. Yeah, five seconds go by. She gets some more. She does have another dose in her allotment. How did I miss this? I don't know. Give me your eyesight. Or your mind. I hear they both go with age. My hearing certainly hasn't. I'll get the medicine so you can be on your way. Well, maybe she should just give it to Here's me. She's Neoka's caffeinoid. And if I know her, she's probably ready for it by now. Oh, I know she is. Good day to you, young man. Sweet. All right. Got your thing. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All three. All of the above? Yep. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Yeah, sure. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Why can't I just have all six? I don't know why. But P Parvati's my favorite. I'm gonna keep her with me through thick and thin. Felix, go fuck yourself. A real big game hunter. You gotta give me some pointers. Why is that so loud? Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. Damn, I'm already halfway to 11. To make once. All right. Uh, so I was going to get that to 40. Uh, dialogue, let's bring up. It seems to be needing it more and more. Or at least the higher levels more and more now. Oh, and perks. Oh, I can perk up them, too. Uh, let's go with base health. Now I got all these to look at next time. Alright, Parvati. Let's go with uh, this one. Extract mods in the field. And you. 
I don't know how to pronounce that. Noika? I'm just going to... Noika? Noika. Ooh. She's better when she lies. Or she can help me lie. Sure. Okay, let's get moving. I remember when I said last time about pick up every quest in town. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be staying here long. I'm just getting the chemicals and going, right? Or at least that's a plan. I don't need to build up money. At least not yet. Can we talk? About what? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Uh, definitely don't plan on getting myself killed. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Dangerous is my third name. All right, what can I do? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Alright, what do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. Tells a mana queen. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then is that how you spell Rebecca? And bury everyone's medallions together. We're going to have to kill a manta queen? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Is that dangerous? Or is it big and scary or something? If so, I like it. All right, uh, oh, it's far. Oh, wait. Oh, she got another perk. Uh, let's go with range. But now, you said it's on the way, right? Where to be a companion quest? That's past it. That's past where we're going, I think. All right, well, that's there. Okay, we'll hit the broker first, and then we'll go visit your friend, okay? Even though he's dead. Ooh. Smells like those old Sundays when we... Right, here's the road. Follow it south. Want to deal with them first? Oh, wait. I have the shrink ray gun. Let's try this puppy out. Did that work? Did you shrink? There we go. Bring it up. Bring it like attack. Alright. Shrink way. Sh shrink way. Shrink shrink ray. Not that useful, actually. I mean, it does a little damage, but it takes a while to switch, and then they're back up to normal. Let's go back with the... This one. Marauders. I like the sound. Thank you. Get him, Pravati. You're making ferocious sounds over there. Am I stepping in goo? Ow. Stop it. Is that it? 
Right, I should quick save because I keep forgetting to do that. Oh wait, I want to see what a. Uh... Nope, wrong one. Still worked pretty well though. <laughs> nice. I'll take care of this guy. Ray, just don't move. Nope, come back here. Oh, come here, you. Reaper's coming. Alright, I guess we gotta get these guys too. I'm here. God, it always looks like they die. Get up. We're still so far. XP is nice and all, but having ammo for over there would be nice too. Ooh, light machine gun. I'll take that. Would it be easier just to cut across? Fuck it. Let's do that. I know we're supposed to say stick to the road. Follow the road. Don't trail from the road, but oh god damn it. Go. Nice work. You got it. Can't even see it. <laughs> Can't touch us. Hey, yeah. Everybody okay? Great. It's like a base or something. Ooh. Model spaceship. Okay. Officer spine? Oh, poison. Nice. What does that look like? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fallbrook? What is that? It's probably like another town, maybe? Alright, let's go on. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need to drink. Ah, okay. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping it. Halfway? Are you kidding me? Huh? Hi. Good job. That's the last of them. What is Oh, that's a Manta Queen? Wait, is this where Is this where your quest was? No, that's farther that way. Let's see how strong this thing is. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the village. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. You know there's a Manta Queen right there, right? Manta Plier? It's Markiplier. Okay, let's see how this how bad this thing is. Oh boy. I am you got it, Captain. Okay, let's try this out. Nice. All right, where are these bugs things? We did it. Oh my gosh, we prevailed. Whew. That wasn't so bad. Hopefully, we, uh, there's no not, not another one. Oh, why am I so fuzzy? Yeah, I gotta level up. All melee. Why not? Oh shit. You didn't hear me break my legs.
There's something on me. Alright, maybe I should just wait here a little bit and let you all heal up. Mega Raptodon? Okay. We ain't going any further. We're going to go to this guy. Devil's Peak. How do we get there? Mm. I mean, that's where the grave is, right? Okay, technically it is on the way. I guess we'll stop there. Oh, I'm over encumbered. That's why I can't run. Alright, let's drop some weapons. You could break it down. I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others will slope up. You want some fun? Oh shit, what is that thing? Okay. As long as it ain't a Manta Queen. How many of these things are there? Okay. The grave should the be just back east or safest. You can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way up. I'm cool with that. Also, don't you want to go to the graves? So yeah, we're going this way. You got it. There we go. I love this mountain. You can see so much. All right, that's the way up, right? So many beasts with. Okay, the grave is over here, though. So many drinks would need drinking. We ought to camp out here tonight, you know? Make a fire, sing songs. What is that? It's not popping up. Another Manta Queen. God damn it, there is more than one. Alright, Grave's pretty close. We'll just avoid the Manta Queen. It's a little friends. What is that? Okay. Colossus? Oh god. Okay, everyone. Charge! Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Uh, I get it. Nice hit. There we go. Okay, you want to? I'm over encumbered again. Okay, stop picking up meat. Here's a grave. Very near the surface of Hayne's grave is a small lockbox. It hinges rusted uh, its hinges rusted, though in its wood, almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but in it you more, you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters Sharon. Is this what you wanted? Hayes was the best self sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now if we're going to lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Um, why do we need their help? We managed to kill one by ourselves. The Queen ain't just going to come out on her own. She'll have dug tunnels into the mountain. I've got theories about how to lure her out, but Anders would know for sure. Okay. So, wait, they're on Terra 2? Is that... Is that like where Edgewater was? Oh, man. Gotta go back there again. I really thought we would progress far in this new planet. 
But my god, is it big and vast and full of enemies. So, in the next part, we will uh, make it up to Hiram and discuss what we need to discuss. So until then, thank you all for watching. Be sure to over down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.